Hey guys, Adventure Carl here. Um, so it is the morning of day four. Uh, I'm in Drumheller. You can see at the lovely hills in the background. It's all around, like, the colors are gorgeous around here. And uh, yeah, actually, I stopped in a campground tonight. I wanted to have a nice little spot, and I, I, I don't know, I didn't really want to stay at a Walmart when I could have this, this gorgeous view. So this morning, after I kind of get ready to go here, I'm going to be going to this place, it's, and uh, there's these formations, they're called hoodoos, and they're really neat, so I'll show you that right away. All right, everybody, we're hoodoo bound, just left the campground, uh, it's, about, it's about one o'clock, noon, noon or so, and um, God, it was, it's, it's cold, it's cold, it was like, like two degrees Celsius, 35 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, so I go to take a shower in the morning and it's a coin operated shower so I put I put in my toonie and uh, there's no hot water just about died anyways here's some hoodoos this is what a hoodoo is very neat but you can't touch them there is a $50,000 fine if you step over that and up to a year in prison too so I won't be doing that. So uh, this is a pretty neat area. This is right behind those other hoodoos there. It's, it looks so smooth and so soft. I think I think my favorite part about the hoodoos is is just how it sounds, it's like the way it rolls off your tongue, like who do, who do you think you are, you know, like who, do, you, you. This is a hoodoo. That is not. All right, so that's the hoodoos. Um. Back down the road there was a suspension bridge, so I think I'm going to check that out before I fill up and get out of here. It's really beautiful though, it's, it's quite amazing. Alright, alright, alright. So, we're on, an, we're on the swinging bridge here. It swings a little bit. It's pretty cool. Check it. Check it. Look at that. Look at that. It says 20 person maximum. So, I mean, like, dude, that's, that's weak. That's weak. There's on the other side of the bridge, there was a sign that said there's, like, some mine equipment, but it's, like, dangerous, so you shouldn't, like, play on it. So I'm gonna go check it out. This is the old mine equipment it was talking about. Right. So I'm at a hike here, at the top, by the mining equipment, and there is a spectacular view. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Just look at that view. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there's even more. But that stuff's all private property. And there's a sign that said, like, I'll shoot you if you come here or something like that. So, can't do that. And, like, that bridge just looks tiny from up here. See, the thing about climbing hills and stuff like that, it's all fun. Like, yeah, it's hard work to climb them, but no one ever talks about going down because it's easy to go down because you don't have to strain yourself, but it's hard because if you misstep, you'll just fall down. And I'm convinced there's no way to go down a hill without doing the little penguin waddle thing like, like this. <laughs> Guys, what do you think lives in there? I don't know. Oh! Here is the swinging bridge from the other side. Neat. And that's the uh, the point that I was just at up there. It's a beautiful view. Dun -dun 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 walking, walking on the bridge. Wow, that was a gorgeous walk. Um, I'm gonna be getting ready to leave uh, Drumheller right away, but. All I can say is if you get the opportunity to come here, I'd definitely come here. I mean, it's a little cool now, 
because it's the fall, but I mean, even now is a little cooler than seasonal, but I, I mean, the colors, like the fall leaves and stuff, you just can't beat the view. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. But yeah, I mean, for the time of year, it's, it's, it's kind of cool, but for Canada, it's still not bad though, because where I'm from, I'm sure like 90% of my viewers at this point are from Winnipeg, but it's cold in Winnipeg, like, like mid midwinter, like February, it doesn't get warmer than minus 20, 20. And like, I don't know, I just saw some people at, at that hike there and uh, they were like, they were, they were from the UK and they were wearing winter coats and they told me they were going, going to Banff. And I was like, oh no. Get ready for Carl's vehicle maintenance tip of the day. I'm not doing them every day, just letting you know. Just thought I'd let you know how how I do. So anyways, the adventure truck is an old truck, so you gotta make sure that it has everything it needs to survive. So one thing a lot of people don't check is a transmission fluid, and when you own a Dodge, that's really important. So if you have a vehicle, and you're lucky enough to have a dipstick for your transmission, it'll probably say trans fluid on it, but you need to know how to check it properly because a lot of people don't know. They'll just park their car, they'll go and they'll check it, and then they'll, oh my gosh, it's low. But no, 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 no. The way you check it is you need to make sure that the engine is running and the vehicle's in neutral. But don't forget to put your parking brake on because if you don't, your car's gonna probably roll away if you're not on level ground, which you should be if you're checking it. So anyways, what you do is you, then you pull out your dipstick like you would with the oil, wipe it clean, and then put it back in. You want to look at the dipstick and you want to make sure that it's wet all the way into the safe zone But not over the max because then that would be bad Okay, now the other fluid you have to check will be your engine oil and That you have to make sure your vehicle is off So with the engine off make sure the car is on a nice level area Then you do the same thing you pull out the dipstick you wipe it clean with a rag and Then uh, and then you stick it back in pull it out and it'll give you your reading Now if you if you check your reading and you're a little bit out and what you need to do is you need to add some back. I would recommend a funnel highly because you'll make a mess and then it'll stink. But um, if you use a funnel, make sure it's clean and doesn't have any debris on it because if there's rocks and dirt in it, it can really screw up your engine. So I was on my way to Calgary and I saw on the side of the road this sign that says Horseshoe Canyon. I was like, okay, what's that about? So I pulled over. Uh, yeah, I stopped at Horseshoe Canyon and uh, it's under construction. So like, the spot over there where you can go take a wicked view, you can't go there, so. All right, I went to a spot where I could get a good look. This is what I see, this gorgeous view. And then these fine gentlemen doing, doing work there. Nice. Hey guys, so, uh, Horseshoe Canyon was pretty cool. I would, like, if you go to Drumheller, because I recommended that already, you should definitely go to Horseshoe Canyon because it is awesome. Like, and there's tons of hiking trails around there too. It's kind of rainy out, so I didn't really want to do that. But, um, yeah. Now I'm on my way to Calgary. Um, I'm, about, I'm about an hour away or so. Um, it's about six o'clock already, so already evening, and I don't know where I'm gonna sleep tonight, so. I guess I'll got, I'll let you know soon. So uh, I made it to Calgary, and I don't know where anything is. It's cloudy out and it's dark already. And I found this pizza place. I'm gonna check it out. It's called Gordo's Pizza. I don't know. We're gonna try it. All right, guys, let's try this out. Here we go. First bite. It's there. It's there, the flavor's there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. So the pizza that uh, that I got, it was actually, it was reheated because he had stopped serving his pizza by the slice for the day. But I gotta say, for reheated pizza, it was pretty damn good. Um, so now I'm trying to find somewhere to sleep, suitable, and it's dark. I don't know where anything is in Calgary. Ah. Like, I'm actually like, I really, I really don't know where I should go park this thing. I've been, I've been looking like, they have Walmarts here too. Like I could do that again, but none of them are, it's not 24 hour. 
and the one that I pulled into was in like a big business park so I don't know if I'd want to be in there because then I'd be like the only vehicle just sitting there so um, I don't know I think I'm gonna call I'm gonna call it quits for today um, thanks for watching I'm gonna go find somewhere to sleep and um, stay tuned because Carl's gonna have another one for you soon <laughs>